Hard to believe, but back again, it is 7.51 p.m., that's the important thing we want to know. And what do we have? Not more than 17 days later, took me a while to do this video, but 17 days later we've got a system update. I don't really know what it is, maybe it's fixing something. It is probably not an app update, or it wouldn't be called a system update, but this came out on about August 17th or so. So let's uh, start at 7, let's just say it's 7.50 and we'll do the download and we'll see what's going to happen. What do they say here? Another update your Android. Helpful improvements. Free. As always, they want you to do it on Wi-Fi. Details of the issues addressed in the security update will be posted. And they usually post it, so let me see if I can find that. BlackBerry Security Incident Response Team. Okay, what do they have listed here? Do they have anything listed? I think this is it. Vulnerability in Qualcomm kernel driver impacts BlackBerry powered by Android smartphones August 12, 2016. So that must be what this is all about. My last video I did the, uh, the update on August 1st. So let's continue and see what happens. It looks like it's strictly just an update, a fix. So we're at 754. It's 123.7 megabytes. That really shouldn't take too long to download. You can see over here we're in the download mode. So let's go uh, see how long this takes. If you like my videos, do a thumbs up, subscribe, a like. Go to my channel page if you want to, click on the support button. I think I'm going to be making a video sometime this next week where I'm going to take all the different options for taking a photograph that come with the BlackBerry Preve. And I'm going to take one photo with each of the uh, different uh, video or the picture options and then put them all together so you can see side by side or as best as I can side by side what the pictures are, what the filters do, how the photos look when you use them. So this really shouldn't take a long time but 93 percent on the battery normally doing an update on this thing it really eats into the battery, which is a normal thing, but it eats the battery up a lot. Verifying, so that download was two minutes. Download and verified, it already wants me to restart and install, which I'm doing on the bottom over here. I clicked uh, restart and install, and now you see the cancel if I want to cancel it. So the download's been verified. This is the part that usually takes a long time where it does the update and then it goes and verifies about 40 some modules. But this has been really quick. This is extremely quick. Not even more than about two minutes. So obviously it's just a tiny little fix of that driver or kernel they were talking about, not a complete system update. And I'll keep the video going. Bump, 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 bump. There we go, eight minutes. It's moving along, it's almost done. There it goes. Told you it was almost done. Where are we at? Blackberry. My phone just vibrated. I felt the table go woo. So we're at the Blackberry thing. It's going to stir it up. If it starts doing the module check, I'm going to shut off the video while that's happening. But for newbies who haven't done this before, this is the update process. That's why I'm showing the whole thing. For people who do this all the time, I'm sure you have already shut this off by now. There we go. I just got a message that it's starting Android. So we'll see where we end up with this thing. A 
video's been going. Well, I just shut it off, so I don't really know how long the video's been recording for. We'll check the time in a minute. Remember, we started at 7.54, something like that, 7.51 and 7.54. So... Blackberry, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. There it is. It wants to check 36 modules. Wow. This is definitely a long install. This is really insane. It's going fast, but I'm getting ready to shut it off until we get to the end. Okay, time to shut it off. I'll be back. I don't have a clock here, but this has been at least five minutes, maybe ten since it started doing the module update. Normally when it gets to about 20 something, 20, 25, it just takes off and it's finished in a couple minutes. But this has taken forever, like all the other updates, so don't expect that it's, oh, now we're going quick. Now, now it's going quickly. So 20, 21, let's see if it bounces to 22, 23 in a few seconds, I'll keep it going, and if it doesn't, then you can just see the clock when it's finished and get an idea how long this took. So, yeah, very slow. There we go, we're at 34. This is a long install. I've had this camera off, on and off for a long time. Almost at the end, we'll find out what the version number is. It would be nice if they gave lots of detail on the updates, but they don't. They, it's very difficult to find. I have an AT&T phone purchased directly from BlackBerry.com. I don't know if they do their updates earlier than AT&T. I don't know if these updates come from AT&T. I think they just come from BlackBerry. I don't know who pushes any of this stuff. Uh, I don't know if your vendor is going to get it before AT&T or after. It seems like other countries sometimes get the updates before the U.S., but that's only by a few days, and that's really because there is just so much stuff being pushed over the air that they just couldn't do all the updates in one day, like Apple does. You would totally throw out the servers. So, I thought this was going to go really quick from 34 to 36, but obviously not. After this, normally it does a reboot or it gives the screen that it wants the password and sometimes it will do that twice. Here we go. We're almost there. Sorry about that noise. I'm counting out pennies. If you look at my videos, you'll see I did a uh, review of a coin machine that you can a coin counter you can buy online or at Costco. And after I returned it, now I'm counting out the pennies myself. Not as easy, but it works, and I don't have to worry about storing a machine here. So finishing boot. Here we go. Now it wants the password again, and now we're booted up. Let's look at some of the numbers over here so you can see what I was talking about. When I started, that was, I believe, 93%. Maybe it was 83%. I don't know. So it used a little bit of battery. I think I said 750, 754, 755. So this one's half an hour. Normally it's about 45 minutes or something. Let's check on the version and see what we've got. Go to your wagon wheel, scroll all the way down to the bottom where you have about phone. Do I have this in the video? Well, that light is really hot. About phone. So we have the patch level. It says August 5th, 6.0.1, which is marshmallow. And the latest version, which we have right here, take a look at it. That's the latest update coming out of AT&T, BlackBerry, 
Adam Adam George 111 AAG 111 the update that came out after the August 1st system update and this is a kernel update okay time to post this thing good luck with your updates that was just a notification that I get a message on my cell everything's working I'm connected to the internet and Wi-Fi and I love this phone good luck with your update people